But to just say that everything I'm experiencing, whether it's pain or whether it's something irregular, to just say that it's because of my weight without doing anything else. You just fat. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I wanna talk about something a little bit different that I've never actually talked about before. Um, it was something that I've always experienced as a plus size person. I've been plus size my whole life. And it was something that I always experienced, but I didn't know that it was like such a big issue for so many different people until like I was like actually seeing other people complaining about it online. So as a plus size person, obviously we know that we deal with judgment discrimination and all that extra stuff just being ourselves uh, and just having a big body but one of the worst experiences is being prejudged and being discriminated against for my body size from a medical professional so like a doctor or anything like that it's a real thing and it is the most terrible experience you'll experience because when you go to any kind of medical professional you have to like put a lot of trust in them um and they're supposed to be the ones that are able to take care of you when you can't take care of yourself so and your family members so to know that these people are fat phobic is kind of like so let's talk about it, right? If you call your doctor and you make a doctor's appointment and you express all of your issues, maybe it's a doctor that you haven't seen yet. So they don't know any of your medical history yet. They don't know anything like that. Your height, size, nothing. So you make an appointment, you express your issues, very concerned over the phone. Yes, definitely come in. We need to see you now. Cool, boom, bye. Day of the appointment, you come in, come into the office. You already got the little eyes from the little receptionist, you know. The medical assistants, yeah, at the front desk, yeah, those little smiley little things, yeah, they're gonna be there and all they're gonna see is body. And they're like, oh, okay, well, this is what this appointment's about now. <laughs> and they are even already prejudging you. Of course, then they get your height, they get your size, they get your blood pressure, they get your history, yada, yada, yada. All of those sexy little notes go to the doctor. The doctor reads them. Mm, okay, now he comes in and then he sees you. Boom, bada bang, everything connects to your fat. Back pain, oh, you're fat. Yeah, no, it's gonna put a lot of pressure on your fat. Oh, you need knees, yeah, no, fat. Cause you're fat. Oh, you bleeding, you irregular period, fat. Fat? Oh no, it's cause you're fat. Yeah. Are you tired? Oh, feeling a little anxiety, depressed? It's probably because you're fat. Uh, so if you just not be fat, then we would solve all these problems. Oh my God. Really? Is that all it took? Doc, why didn't someone tell me this a long time ago? No matter what you bring to them, the first issue is always going to be you're fat. And I understand as a medical professional, you have to kind of bring up all of the concerns and health issues that a person can or is experiencing. But to just say that everything I'm experiencing, whether it's pain or whether it's something irregular, to just say that it's because of my weight without doing anything else, without even looking at blood test results, without looking deeper into my history, without taking any x-rays, without doing any ultrasounds, without doing anything actually inside of my body to see if there's anything going on besides weight. You just fat. And I know I'm not the only one who experienced that. That is literally in my life every time I go to the doctor. And yes, some things might be because of my weight. I'm not saying that it might, it's not. Some things are definitely going to be weight related. And I know that. But not everything is going to be. And the fact that you're prejudging before you even look or even act concerned, <laughs> then I know we have a problem. And I've never experienced a doctor who isn't like that. So, male or woman, white or any other color. And I don't care what anyone says, like that initial judgment, just somebody just looking straight at you and not seeing anything else but that one thing. They don't even see you as a person anymore. 
to me. That's like, you don't even see me as a person. You see me as this big blob that needs to be, that just needs to be sucked. Everything needs to be just sucked out of it until I look like what you think I'm supposed to look like. That's dehumanizing. And what's so crazy is that I actually saw on TikTok a woman talking about it. She's suffered with like severe pain in her body. She has a condition that I can't remember what it is. But I remember that she experiences the same things I do when I go to the doctor. Um, that same kind of judging and, and just blame it all on the fat thing. So she would actually take extra time to make sure that she looked presentable. Even being in so much pain. She would make sure that she wore a nice dress, a nice appropriate dress, a nice colorful dress. She would put earrings on. She would put makeup, but not too much makeup. She would do her hair really nice. She would make sure that she comes looking as presentable and as relatable and just try to make them see that she is a person and that is in pain and just so happens to be fat and not fat person in pain. You know what I'm saying? there's definitely a difference. Obviously, um, fat discrimination and fat phobia is gonna be for everybody, male or female, um, but I would be lying if I said that I don't feel, like in my opinion, that women are gonna get it a little worse. Um, and I only say that because women in society kinda just have it a little bit worse than men do. Um, when it comes to like our bodies and what these beauty standards that we have to live up to, um, that all plays into, especially because a lot of the doctors that I've seen, they're really like fit. They're really into all the healthy things. Not every doctor, so I've seen plus size doctors. Um, and even they're judgy. They're usually male. I've never had a woman plus size doctor. Maybe I should find one. We'll see. <laughs> But uh, yeah, even they're very judgmental because against the woman, they feel like a woman should look a certain kind of way and pretty much have this hot body. And if you don't, you, there's something wrong with you. But not only do fat women have it worse, but fat black women, you can't tell me they don't have it the absolute worst. Because not only are they a woman, so now they have to meet these these beauty standards that just society just lives by. Not only now are they fat, so now they're going to be just discriminated right off bat. This is the cause of all of your issues. It's just your fatness. And now you're black. So imagine being all three. Going into a doctor's office with a white male, which is most of the doctors, I feel like. Um... They're gonna see all of that put together and they're gonna be like, oh, nah, like this is case closed. This is why you're having issues. And the reason why it's worse is because black women, no matter what size, they are deemed to be like these very strong, superhuman, can take anything that's thrown at them and just kind of come out stronger. It's a beautiful, like if you think about it, you're like, yes, strong, independent woman, yes, queen, ah. But it's actually a really toxic way to view these women. You look at a strong, beautiful, independent black woman and think that you can throw anything at them and it will just not to them. They're just so strong that they can take it. And people really think that way and they're the most put down women on this planet. And it's so crazy because I don't know what I don't know, I don't know what it is. It's like, yeah, they're the strongest, but they're the strongest because they've had to be because they have to deal with so much crap that they kind of have to just be stronger than the average person. But it doesn't mean that just because they are stronger that you have to throw more shit on top of them just because they're black. And so when they come into the hospital or the doctors and they express these pains, these weaknesses, this is gonna be astounding. What? No, you're a black woman. You don't experience pain. What? No, you look at what you've survived. You can't be in pain. You can't complain. But if you do, it's probably because you're fat. You know? <laughs> so <laughs> it comes down 
out to the same thing, but um, that's really, that's really an issue. Um, besides that, you know what I, you know what I've never experienced? I've never been pregnant, but it makes me so scared to think about getting pregnant and having to deal with finding a doctor who's actually going to take my pregnancy seriously. Because let me tell you right now, doctors, if you bring up pregnancy fat, if you just bring it up, if you just think about being pregnant, they're going to sense it. And they're going to eh, 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 eh. no, no baby for you, you little fatty, you little fat, fat, fatty, fat thing, you little fatty thing, fat, fat, fat. And if you are pregnant, like... You, there's already stuff that you have to deal with being pregnant. It comes with so many different things, many changes to your body, many aches and pains, many hormones. And now every time you go to the doctor, you have somebody talking to you about how fat you are. Can we talk about the baby? Can we check the heart rate of the baby? See if the baby's doing okay. But how's the baby? I can't imagine what it would feel like going to the doctors and being fat and pregnant. I can't even, I already know that the majority of the conversation and the time that you're with them, you're with them which really usually isn't a very long time, it's mostly just gonna be about the risks of you being fat instead of anything else that's really important for you to know while pregnant. And because of that, I actually do want to let you guys know about a uh, website called mypregnancy.guide. It is something I've never seen before, but I feel like it is so freaking important. And me being somebody who like, I want kids. Like I'm right now I'm like only 26 and sometimes I'm on the fence, especially with the way the world's going. It's kind of weird. So like, but like in the future when I see myself, I see myself with kids, whether they're adopted or my own or somebody else carries. Um, I see myself with children. Um, so having this information is going to be really important. There's a lot of videos out there with people going through pregnancies. There's a lot of women who ex have experienced pregnancy and they go through all the things, but they sometimes don't look like you. We of course still know that it might be a little harder. It might be a little bit different because you are plus size. And sometimes it's just nice to have people who understand that explain certain things to you or just have that kind of support so this website is really amazing because it has a bunch of options when it comes to actually purchasing but what it does what they offer is a support before during after and all the little joys of pregnancy so it helps you prepare for pregnancy if you're planning on getting pregnant or if you just found out you're pregnant while you're pregnant and all the struggles that you go through the ups and downs of being pregnant and after labor as well they help you go through all of that postpartum all the fun pregnancy things that women Incredible women deal with <laughs> I don't care about nothing women are cool but you're so much cooler if you had a baby <laughs> like if you gave birth if you had if you grew a person and you gave birth you're so much cooler than a regular woman <laughs> I don't care what nobody says because for your body to do something that incredible and then to raise that child if you raise children you're also cooler whether you had him or not if you raise a child so much cooler because I like kids, but sometimes I like giving them back more. <laughs> so what's really cool is that they actually have a lot of options. Maybe you don't need the whole course. Maybe you don't need before, or during, after. Maybe you just need little snippets of different courses, which they have that option. If you want to subscribe monthly, you have that option as well. If I'm not mistaken, it's like $20 um, for a subscription. The benefit of subscribing is that you actually get access to new information that's posted monthly, or you can just buy the whole course. If you just need the whole course, the one big bam, and you can always have it there. It's a $50. It's $50 for the entire course. And again, that's before, during, after, and then also just additional resources as well with whatever else you experience during pregnancy as a plus size woman. Um, so they have that as well. And actually, you get a 10% discount. 
So that is good as well. With all the resources that they give you at the prices that they're giving it to you, I think why not take advantage of this? Whether you're pregnant right now or you're not pregnant, I even have the course as well because again, I do wanna have children and me being plus size, I'm always gonna be plus size whether I lose weight or not. I'm always gonna be a plus size person. I enjoy being a plus size person. I like my body. Um, but this is really good information for us to have. And it's really good to just have that support from somebody who understands the plus size experience. You know what I'm saying? So besides that, that's, if you go to the doctors and they don't treat you right, be vocal about it. And if they still don't treat you right or understand or seem to come off any kinds of disrespectful after you vocalize your opinion and your feelings, then go to a new doctor. Because no matter what, no matter what size you are, no matter what skin tone, you deserve the utmost respect and the best care. Especially because health insurance ain't cheap. And I ain't paying for disrespectful ass doctors. Okay? I hope this information was beneficial to you. Um, even if you don't decide to purchase, definitely check out mypregnancy.guy because you can. Uh, it might help you or it might benefit somebody else that you know. So I love you guys so much. All the information and link will be down below. If you have any questions, definitely leave it a comment. But you know I'm going to see y'all in the next video. Bye.